on to cleaning out the inside air vents now. First things first, you're going to need a couple of tools, so make sure you have these ready. Scissors and a Phillips head screwdriver. I remember that back in my appliance sales days, I actually had a manager say to me when I called and said that I needed a screwdriver one time. Uh, do you need a plus or a minus? Look at the end. And I understand I'm blonde. I understand I'm female. But I know the difference between a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. If you do not, this is what you do. Look at the end. See, this one is a point. It's got four little spots to it, or a plus sign. That's a Phillips head. If it's a minus sign and it's flat, that's a flat head. Not that difficult. I was actually pretty offended that he didn't know, but a lot of people look at me and don't realize I grew up in a construction family. So there you go. This is a paper sack I've cut into strips. All you want is spots big enough to cover your air grates because we are going to remove them with our Phillips head. See how easy that is? Hence why you need the scissors. We are going to start at the point farthest away. All right, you guys, we're moving on. I am in the farthest point from our air conditioning unit inside the house, the furnace area. Uh, that would be my daughter's room. Yay. Her room and her air filter is actually pretty dang nasty. Uh, the dog sleeps in here with her, our, our big Anatolian Pyrenees, and she sheds like crazy. So the air vents get pretty nasty. You want to keep in mind you have your air vents on the, up by the ceiling in most houses, depending on the age of your home, and the ones on the floor. Her one on the floor is behind a nightstand, so I'm going to have to move that. This one I'm going to have to climb up. Luckily, I think her bed is close enough that I can get it done. So we are going to get to work on that. Don't worry, I'll show you how nasty it is. Make sure you got your hair up in your mom bun. You're going to get crap in it. Make sure you got your nasty crappy clothes on. You're going to get crap on that too. Ready to go? Let's do it. Alrighty, we're up here. I actually came up with a pretty interesting uh, observation once I got up here. I did indeed need a flat head to get this done. So there's your, your minus sign for you. I already started loosening these. I noted that people that lived here before us decided to paint over the screws. So I had to chip a little bit of paint away to be able to get my flat head even in there. But let's take a look. I am about to show you how disgusting your air vents actually are. I can already see from the outside here, these are nasty. Now I dust the outside of these on a relatively regular basis. I don't want to drop the screw, that's why now that it's loosened enough, I'm just switching to using my hand. There we are. Like I was saying, I dust the outside of these grates fairly regularly. Probably not as much as I should, to be honest. Two jobs, two kids, four sports, school, you know, life gets in the way. We forget about things like this, but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do a video on it to show exactly how nasty it is. This stuff can have a major, major impact on your health, whether you realize it or not. All right, I already loosened quite a bit of this, but you can see this thing's gross. It's nasty. It's nowhere near as nasty as it is on the inside. That is all just crap, just gunk. And that's blowing straight into your airways. When you're sleeping, when you're just sitting around thinking you're relaxing, it's making you sick. It's not good for you. So we are going to get it cleaned out. I got it all cleaned up up there. Just took a little brush. And you get in there as much as you can. Brush away what you can. I also stick my vacuum cleaner hose in there a bit. 
Um, but most of this is going to settle down and we're going to vacuum it out of the main spot anyway. So for now, here's the paper bags that we had before cut into pieces. Put on some painter's tape. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And we are going to cover up this hole for when we suck out the bottom of the unit. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it relatively tight because you don't want air getting released from there. And I've already done the one on her floor. That one's pretty easy, no tape needed. I just put down the paper sack and then set a book over it. Here's this one. I'm off to do the rest of the house. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you suffer through me doing it all. We're back. Gotten the whole house done with all the ducks off. They're all covered in paper. Took way longer than I expected it to. Probably at least an hour, if not a little more. So keep that in mind if you decide that this is something you wanna do. It's probably gonna take you a whole weekend to get everything done, clean up afterward, get all the grates back on, yada, yada, yada. We're in the basement now, my husband's man cave. I helped build this, oh, years ago. Um, my husband's a very, very tall man, so we did not put in a drop ceiling. Instead, we did the urban effect where we just painted, where I just painted, all of the woodwork and the ducks black so they would blend in. Fortunately, when we did that, we also had an air vent put in, and that was right here. Most units will not have these. You'll have to look around. Professional companies will often drill a hole straight into the word or the... Sorry, the ductwork. Whew, getting tired. Um, other times you'll be able to find a little flap that you'll be able to just unscrew and take off from where it's been done before. I already took off our grate. It's right here. I actually found a spider in it. Pretty gross. Took it off. Now what's right here right now is actually part of a cereal box. I've taped up there and I've cut a plus sign in it, since we're going on about plus signs, right here. And that is what I'm going to stick my shop back in. Since all of the other ducts are covered, it's going to help create a suction. I'm going to go through, I'm going to bang on all of these a little bit to loosen anything up, and then we're going to stick the shop back in there and get this all taken care of. Bear with me. time to go take all of the covers off, put the grates back on. I'm not going to bother videotaping that, if you'll excuse me. I'm hot. I smell. I'm going to go spend some time at the pool with my kids. See you later.